right before, left after. Hello everyone, back with me again, Dennis Wang. And on my previous video about troubleshooting Sonic Mini 4K, someone commented that his or her printer still has wobble lines. And in that video, all of the test print that I've done is I have the flat side facing Y axis. So after reading the comment, I did more tests by printing two models at a time, one, fa one facing Y and another one facing X axis. And yes, I found that I have wobble lines on X axis. So Sonic Mini 4K only has single linear rail. Usually to fix wobble lines on X axis, we need dual linear rail. So I'm doing a lot of tests and I even use another part i changed my stepper motor and etc trying to figure out how to fix the wobble lines on x axis and finally on the test this number eight i finally figured out the easiest way to fix wobbles on x axis but before that don't forget to subscribe to my channel like and share the video if you want thank you and now let me show you the close-up image of this before and after fixing the wobble lines. So you could see from this close-up picture, left is before, sorry, I mean right is before, <laughs> left is after. And then more close-up, left before, oh my god, sorry, right before, and then left after. Now let's prepare your set of Allen keys. There are two ways to fix the warp lines. The first is the easiest one, and the second you require to add additional parts. Now let's get to the first method. The first way is probably just a case of misaligned lead screw and the backlash nut. So simply remove the top cover. And then loosen these four bolts. Just loosen. Do not remove the bolt. Until it can wiggle. And then turn on the printer. Make sure you have a smaller Allen key. And then lower the build arm. Okay, and then hold the arm upward. So everything aligned. Now start, tighten the bolt. You could leave this one at the last because it is harder to reach as long as you make sure this three bolt is tight. And then move it up until your finger is free from this black sensor here and work on the last bolt. And install the top cover back. And you are done. So 
I have a chat with some uh, Sonic Mi 4K user on Facebook. The first method managed to fix their wobble lines, but unfortunately, it doesn't work in my case. So I have to use the second method. And for the second method, uh, you need to install this stepper motor damper and also replace the original linear guide using high wind and make sure you purchase both the rail and the linear guide as a set uh, the length of the linear guide now let's see the difference of high wind linear guide and the original sonic mini 4k linear guide I just disassembled the Sonic Mini 4K linear rail and guide block. And this is high wind. You could hear the difference. The ball bearing is very noisy here. And it's quiet and very smooth using high wind.
Okay, now that we are done and turn on the printer, make sure to check the exposure by using vat cleaning. And then we check the stepper motor by using Z-axis calibration. And after you are done with the first or the second way, make sure to level your build plate again. And that's it guys for today. So I hope this video could help you fix your wobble lines problem. And thank you for watching. Hmm. Even by running my finger, I could feel the wobble lines. Right before, left, after. <laughs>